Hey everybody, we just got back from the Conway Birth Fair in Arkansas. I don't do a lot of big table booth type events, but we did this one today. It was really fun. We had a great crowd, especially in the morning. And I wanted to share a little bit with you about following up with people after events. You've heard a million times, the fortune is in the follow-up. And this could not be more true than it is with events because you're seeing people in a very limited time, they're being exposed to a lot of other products and businesses and tables. So you have this really short time to make an impression on them and what's going to make or break the value of the time and money that you spend on doing events is gonna be your follow-up. So um, I only came for the afternoon, Lorelai and Lisa were there all day and had a few conversations with a few specific people. Uh, we had slips for people to fill out to win our giveaway basket and the slips contained their contact information and what issues they struggled with and then as we conversed with them we wrote notes on the back of those papers too. And so I just brought home four pieces of paper because there were four people that I had really connected with. Um, but one thing I did was as soon as they left my booth, I found them on Facebook and sent them a friend request because I knew that that's, they're going to remember me only if they see, see a friend request from me that same day within a few hours. They're going to remember that conversation they had with me. Um, with those that responded to my friend request, I immediately sent a message this afternoon when I got home and said, Hey Lori, I just am so excited that I had a chance to meet you today. You're the sweetest. Um, just a contact, just a touch point. And then it, um, when they respond back, you just continue to build that relationship. Um, oftentimes, in order to bring Plexus in for the, into the conversation, it's not a matter of saying, hey, I remember you said you struggle with headaches. Let's talk about that. Um, oftentimes, it's in the course of building a relationship, you're able to say something like, can I get down? You want to stay up? You're able to say something like, you know, and that's what, that's what actually led us to Plexus. Or... You know, you're learning a little bit more about them, telling them a little bit more about you. And so you say, um, that's actually been one of the biggest blessings to us, and that's actually what we love so much about Plexus. That's how I got involved. So I've been, in, I've been messaging with two people today that I met at the birth fair today and have just brought Plexus into the conversation by saying that. Um, yeah, you know, I'm not able to breastfeed because I've had a mastectomy, and that's actually what led our family to Plexus. I really wanted to find a good probiotic I could give my kids. So it's been a huge blessing to us. I actually had one girl tell me, you guys were by far the most friendly table, and actually the most in shape table, which I'm kind of jealous of, which I thought was so funny. I hadn't looked around at all the other tables. But, um... She said, I know that, you know, everybody at an event like that is going to be friendly and is going to follow up, but it just seems like you genuinely care. And so this, is my, this was my response that I want to pass on to you guys. I told her, okay, well, I will tell you the truth, Lori. I, um, I do work Plexus as a business. I love it. It's been a huge blessing to our family. I've been successful, which I'm so thankful for. But I do this to help people, and I do it because I like building relationships with good, positive, uplifting people. And I felt like I connected with you today. I felt like you were really sweet. And I just genuinely really did want to keep in touch with you. Any business, uh, any business building I get from the birth fair today is a side bonus. But I genuinely do just want to be your friend. And so... Um, I feel like that takes the pressure off where they don't feel like the things you're saying to them are potentially dishonest in order to just get a sale. And that should be how we're conducting our business, where we're trying to help people. If we have something that can help somebody, we're happy to share about it. But ultimately, we care about them and we care about pouring into them. And so I tried to communicate that to the people that I've been in touch with today. It's about building a relationship, letting them know that you care, that you're different than everybody else out there at the event, and that... You want to you wanna be in touch with them, whether or not they decide that Plexus is for them. Now, if they're willing to let you share, hey, this is how it's really blessed me, this is how it's really blessed my friend, who happens to have the same health issue you have, then great. So I hope that's helpful. I um, hope that you guys will go out there and do some events like this. It's not something I do a lot of, but you know, it's one more way to build your business.